right, we've algebra one, lesson 51. This one is on graphs of linear equations and then graphs of vertical and horizontal lines. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to learn how to graph, <coughs> graph um, a line on a coordinate system. So I'm going to go on and put, go on and fill out your chart, and it's best if you have graph paper, but no big deal if you don't. You just do what I'm doing. Okay? Hopefully you remember from last lesson how these numbers work, or you could have learned, learned it previously. Okay, now that I've got it all set up, positive number going to the right, negative number to the left, positive up, negative down. Okay, now another thing you need to remember is that the Y is going up and down and the X is going left and right. So now, let's see, it tells me to graph this. Y equals 2X minus 1. Now, they're going to give you a chart that looks something like this. They're going to have an X and Y. And they're going to kind of graph it, like show you this little chart. Okay, and then they're going to have all of our X's filled in. So, for example, they've got 0, negative 2, no, positive 2. <laughs> 2, negative 2, 3, and then they even have negative 3. Oh, forgot one more, so negative 3. All right? Now, the y, we don't have anything listed. So, what you're going to do is you're basically going to use um, these numbers that they have up here, and they're, you're going to insert it. So, with an x, they have a 0. So, where you see the x, you're going to put a 0. So, then you work it out and see what y is. 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 1, which will be a plus negative 1. So 0 plus a negative 1 is just negative 1. So y equals negative 1. That's if my x is a 0. Then my y is a negative 1. x is 0, y is negative 1. Now let's look at the next one. All right. If my x is a 2, remember this is where my x was. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, so y equals so when my x was a 2, my y is a 3. See how this works? Okay, we'll do a few more. Negative 2. If my x is a negative 2, then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus a negative 1 makes a negative 5. y equals negative 5. See how we're doing that? Okay, and then let's do positive 3. Positive 3, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So when you have a positive 3, you get a um, positive 5. And then the last one is a negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6, plus a negative 1 makes a negative 7. Y is a negative 7. So we get a negative 3, we get a negative 7. Now, basically what you're going to do is this is X and this is Y. This one's x and this one's y. And so you are going to graph those. I actually like to do my chart like this, x and y. And so they had a 0, 2, negative 2, 3, and negative 3. And then my y's were negative 1, 3, negative 5, 5, negative 7. Okay? And then I know that I'm graphing 0, negative 1, 2, positive 3. Negative 2, negative 5, 3, 5, negative 3, negative 7, just like that. Okay, so in the chart you look at, they both do the same things. So let's go on and graph it. Zero. Zero, this is my x. So my zero is in the middle right here. And I'm not going to go left or right because it's zero. And then negative one, I can either go positive one or negative one. And I'm going to go down negative one. So zero, negative one is this spot right here. Okay. The next one is 2, 3. It's kind of like um, Battleship. So 1, 2, up, 1, 2, 3. So this is kind of where they meet the middle. If you want to go 1, 2, and then go 3, and then put your fingers together like that, that'll create it as well. Okay? And then negative 2, negative 5, negative 1, 2, and then negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meets in the middle right there. All right? And then 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, up, 5, and then negative 3, negative 7, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 7 would be somewhere 
negative 6, negative 7. Okay, so something right there. All right, and then I've got a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. So basically, you just take and draw you a line. And so the equation y equals 2x minus 1, which is what they gave us in the beginning, is that right there graphed. Okay? So you didn't actually have to know what x was or what y was. You just put in the numbers they give you, or you can come up with your own. It would give you the same answer, just so you know. But they're going to start you off by giving you the x's. Later on, you will have to come up with some on your own. Okay? Let's try another one. All right, next chart, I'm going to try to erase this the best I can so I can reuse my chart, my graph right here, okay? Just fixing the ones I have. Okay, ready for the next one? Here's the next graph they want us to do. Y equals negative one-half, whoops, negative one-half X plus two. Now, again, they give me some numbers, and I'm going to write them x, y, like this, up and down rather than sideways, just because I like it better like that. And they give me 0, 2, and negative 2 for my x's. 0, 2, and negative 2. So I'm going to figure out the y is once I put it in here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put a 0 where an x is. So here we go. Okay, so 0 times a, half, a negative half is anything times 0 is 0. So 0 plus 2 is 2. So y equals 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. All right, let's try the next one, okay? Um, a, t a positive 2 is going to be our next one that we're going to try. Okay, so positive 2. But what I want you to notice is we're multiplying it by a fraction. So what we're going to do is make this 2 over 1 because... 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2. Any whole number 2, or any whole number, um, to make it a fraction, you put it over 1. So, here we go. Um, we've got negative 1 times 2, which gives me negative 2. And then 2 times 1 is positive 2. Alright? And so, negative 2 divided by positive 2 gives me a negative 1. Okay? Now we're going to go on and bring down this plus 2 and answer the final. So then... Negative 1 plus 2 gives me a positive 1. So when x is 2, y is 1. All right, now let's try when x is negative 2, what happens? So I'm going to put a negative 2 over 1, just like I did last time, except this is a negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 1 makes a positive 2. Hopefully you know that. And then 2 plus 1 is 2. So I've got 2 over 2, which gives me a 1 whole. 1 whole plus my 2 gives me a 3. So when negative 2 is my x, then 3 is my y. Okay? So here we go. Let's graph it. All right, 0, 2. So 0, I don't go left or right. But y, I go up 2. Here we go. 2, I go right 2. Whoops, sorry. I'm just going to hold my pen there. Right 2, and y is 1, so we're going to go right 2, up 1. And then negative 2, 3 is going to be 1, 2, up 3. And as you can see, we've got a line that looks like that. Okay? So you would just draw that. There you go. All right? Let's do a few more. I think there might be one more left um, before we kind of get to one more uh, thing I want to teach you. So I'm going to go on and erase these. Okay. Um, okay. Now, what we're going to do, let me go on and graph this next one because this might be confusing to some of y'all. Y equals negative x. So here we go x and y. They give me um, some x's 0, 3, and negative 3. Okay, and then y. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. Is 0 is x, okay? If x is 0, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in parentheses because that's my x. So I'm going to put a 0 in there. So what is x? x is 0, but what is y? y is negative 0, and there is no negative 0, so it's just 0, okay? Just so you know. All right, now but let's do, we're going to do 3. So if my x is a 3, then what is my y? My y is a negative 3. See that? Okay? And if my x 
is a negative 3, then my y is a negative negative 3. If you want to think of this, it says the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. Or you could have put um, like a 0 in front of it and made this a plus positive and realized that y is positive 3. However you want to do it, I've taught you this before, um, but that's what you can do. So, this is our graphing information that we need. Now let's go on and graph it. 0, 0 is straight up in the middle. 3, negative 3. So we're going to go left or right, positive 3, and then negative 3. Right there. And then negative 3, x, and a positive 3, y. Negative 3, x, positive 3, y. Okay, we draw that line. Looks like that. All right, you see how we're doing that? All right, good stuff. Now, we're going to 51 point B, which is not that much different, but it does um, make a point that I want you to see. So I'm gonna help you with this one. All right, this time they're not trying to figure out that um, with the X's and the Y's. They're just gonna give you something like this. X equals negative two. Okay, so basically what that means, if you were going to find the x and y, just stay with me for just a minute, my x always equals negative 2. So let's just do three negative 2s, because that's what x always equals. Okay, and so if I were to graph negative 2, let's just pretend like this is negative 2, 1, um, negative 2, 4, and this is going to make sense in just a second, no, negative 2, 2. Now, these are all pending, so just pretend for just a second because I want to show you something. So negative 2, 1 would look like this. Negative 2 up 1, negative 2 up 4, negative 2 up 2. What do you see happened? On this negative 2 right here, even if I'd have done a negative number, so negative 2 on my x, and then let's pick negative 5. Okay, just for a pending, just to show you something. Negative 2, negative 5 would be right here. And what do you see? Regardless of the y, negative 2 graphed is a straight line right down through negative 2. Okay? So graphing that is this. So I just put some numbers in there, and you can do the same thing just to figure out so you can actually place dots somewhere. Okay? But the answer is shows you this vertical line. So x equals whatever is always going to be a vertical line. Okay? Now let's do a y equals. And if you're already thinking in your head, well, if x equaled this and it's always up and down, then y is going to equal this and it's always going to go horizontal. You're exactly right. So let me show you what that looks like then. Okay? So if all my y's says that y equals 4, so again... Let's pretend that we have fours on all of them, and I'm just going to pick any number, two, one, and let's go into a negative number, negative three. Okay? So let's graph this. Um, X, one, two, up four. X over one, up four. And negative three, up four. What do you see? We've got a line that goes from here, here. So X equals four is this line right here. Okay, so I just put numbers in there just to help us find dots so that we can make a straight line. Okay, so this is y equals 4, and this was x equals negative 2. All right? All right. Now, um, I'm going to look at one more thing. All right, now this next one says something like this, so I'm going to take this off. This is the last problem, so stay with me. Hang in there. All right, let me fix all these. There we go. Now, here's what it says. Graph y equals 2x and y equals 2 on the same rectangular coordinate system. Now, don't freak out. Just take one at a time. So, let's do y equals 2 since we, I just taught on that. So, y equals 2. So, if they're always going to be 2, then let's just put 0, 4, and negative 4. Okay, so let's go and graph um, y equals 2. This is the one we're on. y is always 2. So x, let's just put some fake ones in there, 0 and 2. So 0 up 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. 
and negative 4 up 2. So we've got this line right there. All right, that is that one right there. Now let's do y equals to x, okay? And here I'm going to put the graph part, these x and y things down here because I'm running out of room. Okay, and you're just going to choose any x. So let's do 1, let's do uh, 4, and let's do negative 4 just to get us a negative number in there. Okay, so here we go. If x is 1, then what is y? y is 2 times 1, which is 2. If x is 4, then y is 4 times 2 is 8. If x is negative 4, then 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Okay, so I've got some points. Now let's graph them. 1, 2 goes there. 4, 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 8's going to go way up here, and I don't have enough room. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put it there. And then neg uh, negative 4 and negative 8. So negative 4 and negative 8 is going to be somewhere right there. Negative 8. Let's go put that line on there. Okay, so I've got this, this, and this. Now, this dot would be way up here, so I'm just going to pretend like it is since I can't draw one up there. So it's going to go... Sorry. Something like that, okay? Now, if you have graph paper, it's easy to follow the lines because everything ma matches just right, okay? And so, um, those are the two equations that we wrote right there, okay? And so, you know, it kind of meets in the middle right there. It doesn't really matter. They're just wanting to show you that those graph that and that. And so, that is lesson 51.